Hello. It's mid to late in September now, and our drying beans, our first crop of drying beans, are about ready to harvest. They were planted in June. We planted kidney beans, pinto beans, and black turtle beans, uh, and they are going to be, they've, dry, they've grown. Uh, they're mostly dry, and they're getting a bit of a second kick here, and then they're going to be stored. We have a bunch of really dry pods on them. Some of the pods, when I've been working on my tomatoes, have been breaking and dropping seeds. So I feel that it's time to harvest them. It's been approximately uh, 90 to 100 days since I've planted them, which is about their time to maturity. And so we're going to get dug in here, start cutting down these bean plants, and we're going to start getting the sh them shelled. Alright, so we're down in here, and if we're looking, we can find some of these plants that are pretty dead and these beans that are really dry. Uh, these pods are really dry out. Crack them open. And there are some beautiful black beans on the inside, dry and ready to be eaten. Uh, as I look through this patch, I see that there are some that are completely green. So I'm going to either, you know, we've only got a couple weeks till our frost. And I don't think these are going to mature and be ready by then. So what we'll probably do is cut them down and use them as green beans uh, and just mix them in with the rest of our green beans and they'll probably be pretty good like that. Uh, they probably just germinated later from seeds that I had planted before, found the right conditions and took advantage of it. So we're going to keep, we're going to cut all this down uh, and use it. So, perfect. I'll find our root stem, give it a chop. And we're gonna, we're just gonna go around and do that until we have a big bundle. I'm also gonna go around and try and pick up some of the pods off the ground so we don't waste anything. You can see in some places I wasn't too diligent and the seeds fell out of their dried pods and started to grow new plants. So we'll try and be more diligent in the future. The more I pull up, the more seeds I find uh, that have fallen onto the ground. I'm sure I'm gonna have a, way too many beans in this area next year that are volunteering to grow. All right, we are all done harvesting our uh, dried beans. Uh, we're gonna take these up to the house and we're gonna start going through them. But first, I've gotta get back down there and pick up as many of the good beans and the pods that I still can uh, so that we can salvage any problems. So once we have all of the beans picked here, uh, we are gonna start pulling the pods off and shelling them which is super simple. They're very dry. You just crack them and then pour your beans into your collection receptacle. So we've just got a basket that I'm breaking these into. Uh, we're going to try and sort out some of the nasty looking beans, uh, but the rest of these look pretty good. And then we're going to try and store these. So what we're going to do is you might not need to wash them. We're going to be on the safe side and wash them before we store them. We're going to use some vinegar and some soap, get them all nice and clean, uh, and then we're make sure they're really dry and store them over winter. So this is a new thing for us to grow dry beans. We usually grow green beans, but we eat a lot of dry beans in the winter, especially in our chilies. Uh, so this has uh, been a fun little experiment and something that we'll probably try again next year too. But I've got a lot of work ahead of me, so until next time, see ya.